Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square One, where we take a look at the basics of SketchUp. You know, starting from square one. Today we're going to look at the arc tool. Actually, four arc tools. So we better hop in right now. Okay, first and foremost, where do we find the arc tool? Well, you can look right up here on the top toolbar. It's right here. If you click on it, it's going to show you one of the arc tools, whichever one you used last, but you can see below it, there's actually, it drops down, there's four different tools. So you can switch between any of them by clicking on a little arrow right there and then choosing which one you want. It is also on the large toolbar. So the large toolbar right here is these buttons right here underneath our, our uh, polygon tools, the four arcs. You can get the large toolbar, of course, by going to uh, view tool palettes on Mac, toolbars on Windows, and turning on the large tool set. Okay, so that's what that is. Let's, let's get in here and let's actually draw this. I am going to remove Laura because I want to work off of the origin right here. So I'm just going to swipe across with the eraser and I'm going to come up here. I'm going to click on the first one. If we, if we drop this down again, I have arc, two point arc, three point arc, and pi. So I'm going to start with an arc and click arc. And you see when I do that, I get this little uh, protractor compass kind of thing on my, I'm stuck to my cursor. So what this is going to do right now is ask me to set the center point of the arc. So I'm going to use that at the origin. I'm going to click right here. And what I can do now is I can set the length of the arc. So I can come out here and drag it out. And you can watch the lower right corner down here. The length will change as I move my cursor. If I have a specific length from the origin to the edge of the arc, I can actually type it in right there. I'm just going to click on a point. And now what happens, I clicked and released. Now as I drag my cursor around that compass right there, it's going to create an arc of that degree, of that amount, of that angle. So if I if I come up here and move toward the green axis, it'll snap on there to 90 degrees. I can tell it's 90 degrees again by looking in the lower right corner. If I have a specific length I want to put in there, so if I wanted to go exactly 120, I could type in 1, 2, 0 and hit enter. And that would give me 120 degrees at that length. So if I, I'm going to orbit and look at this from above, you can see in here, see those little segments right there? There is 12 of them. I know that because as soon as I enter arc, I'm going to go to a different command and come back to arc, it asks me number of sides. So I can actually set that before I start drawing that arc. All right, that's one arc type. Let's arc type, type of arc. Let's look at some other ones. Let's look at the two-point arc. All right, I will say that... Four out of five times, if I draw an arc, it's probably this type of arc. So the way this works, I pick a start point, then I draw a line to the end point, and then I drag out a third point, which is, it's called the bulge, and I can click that to place it. So the reason I use this command so often is because of the way it, so this, this first command, the standard arc is nice, but what this will always create is a section of a circle centered off of the origin or the first point you clicked on. So it's going to create as if a circle was all the way around there and then chop off the part you don't need. With this arc, it's again, it's going to give me a perfect uh, a circle piece, but I can control things. So if I'm going to come in here and set my endpoint, and the same thing goes here. After I set my endpoint, I can set the length right here. And once I set the length, I can change the bulge right here also. And I can actually, if I knew those values, I could type them in directly. But here's the nice part. What inferencing does is it allows me to drag my bulge out and it's going to change. Boop. Right. Oop, that was not the right boop. I booped wrong. Ah, there we go. That teal, if I click there, what that does, that teal assume, or assures that this, these two arcs basically flow right into each other. So if I'm taking this off of a straight line, I can, with inferencing, use this two-point arc to connect in the proper location so that it's directly in line with the line I'm starting off of. Let's look at the other arcs real quick. So I'm going to go here and grab a three-point arc. Three-point arc is a little different. So what happens here is, again, I pick a point, set a length, and now what happens is I drag a circle chunk, basically, through and across that point. This is, this takes some getting used to. I, this is honestly, this is not a tool I use a whole lot, uh, but I have seen people use it for specific drawings where they had specific set of information, like maybe an arc on a, a rounded wall or something like that. They have two points of dimensions and they have to pull across 
where that goes to. Uh, by doing 180 degrees, of course, that's where I'm, I'm going to get a half circle between the two points. Click there, and there we go. All right, the last one is pi. Pi actually works just like this initial arc, except we'll see when I click, click, when I drag this out, it's actually just going to create a face. So that's the only difference between this and this. So I could do the same thing by coming in and drawing two lines to connect these two to the origin. I would get the same geometry, but pi just automatically creates that for me. All right, once you create an arc, you can come back and modify it. So I'm going to pick this first one. I'm just going to zoom in here. So if I look at my entity info, this is in the, the default tab bar on Windows. In here, I can modify the radius, the segments. So if I, if I wanted it to be uh, you know, smoother, I could come in here and tell I want that to be 24 and hit enter. And that'll give me a much smoother length there. I could also change the radius and, and modify how that arc goes. But if you draw it in first, so if you miss that window where you first start the arc command and don't change your segments, know that as long as you don't interrupt this geometry by drawing other lines, you can always come back and modify it afterwards. One last tip. I'm going to come in here real quick. I'm going to draw a rectangle just like that. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to grab a two-point arc and I'm going to round a corner off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to arbitrarily pick a point and I'm going to come drag across this line. And this is what I was talking about inferencing. As soon as this is going to turn magenta, I know, boom, both ends are tangent to the sides they're connecting from. Now, here's the cool part. If I double click at this point, look what it did. It automatically put that arc in and got rid of the corner. That's pretty cool. But here's an even cooler tip. If I take my cursor right now and I move inside of another corner, it doesn't have to be on the same shape, but inside any corner, and I just double click here, <gasps> look at that. It rounded off automatically. Double click, double click. So double clicking on closed, it does have to be closed geometry like this. It will automatically round that corner off with the same arc you used on the previous click. That's everything I can think of as far as arcs go. Um, I might have missed something. If so, please leave a comment down below and let me know if there's something I should have included in this video. If you like that, if it helped you in any way, please click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week around here. You'll be notified of each and every one if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, like I was saying, please leave a comment. Let us know if you like this series, if you think we should do more, maybe what tool you think we should touch on next. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.